hi and welcome to this youtube channel in today's video we are going to see how we can do data cleaning in stata what is data cleaning you know from the data collection we may have different uh, missing values in our data set say for example there are some people who do, did not respond their age their weights their heights their education level so those who did not provide information that we needed they are treated as missing values so those missing values we need to make sure that we we know how to treat them before we start data analysis also we may have different duplicates in our data set okay we can have different duplicates we can have uh, different data types now let's say for example we all know if you have watched our previous videos the age height say some variables like weights like salary and so on those are numeric variables but unfortunately you can get that such kind of variable as a string variable in your stata how can you transform it how can you like um uh, change variable from string to numeric from numeric to string how can you drop the variables that are not are no longer necessary how can you drop values according to a given condition so how can you like deal with outriers all of those we are going to see that in uh, this uh, video so um let us start now so we have our data set first of all before you start data cleaning you have to visualize you have to view your data set okay we can use browse command we can use edit command we have seen that in our previous videos okay you hit enter so you can see we have different variables in our data set okay we have id this can be identification number of respondent we can have uh, we have motor status which include people who are single uh, separated married divorced and so on so we can have education level uh, we have also uh, age lung cancer gender weight either if people drink alcohol or not smoking and physical exercise at least we now have uh, like view of our variables that are included in our data set but guess what in this in this um data set we may like no longer need uh physical exercise is our variable how can we drop it first so let us use command drop and you bring this physical exercise okay you can bring it or you write it but make sure you write the way it is because stata is case sensitive case sensitive means if you start with capital letter yet the variable name is in small letters it won't recognize the variable okay so if you use command drop okay it will help you to remove the variable that you no longer need for example you can see that the physical exercise is no longer in our data set this is how you can do if you want to remove like multiple um, variables you can use drop command okay so you bring for example lung cancer okay and you you bring another variable like weight and then you hit enter button on your keyboard okay but i don't want to remove this because i will need them so um this is one way you can like be cleaning your data because through the process of data cleaning we also remove some variables that may no longer be important or necessary for data analysis okay so the next thing i want to show you which is very important is removing values okay say for example i want to let, let's say i want to remove people with a given age range okay let's say uh first let us see uh, the age range of the respondent we can say summarize okay summarize age we have age here okay you can see that we have asked 483 people responded among our participants 493 sorry 93 people have responded to their age we don't know how many people were here in this study in this research 
But what I want to show is that the minimum age of respondent was 39, okay? So the, uh, the minimum, sorry, it was 15. So and the maximum was 65. This is the mean. So on average, one respondent was aged 39 years old. So the minimum, the youngest person was 15 years old and the oldest person was 65 years old. What if, for example, I want to remove people who are like aged above 60? I will use this drop, okay? Now I will bring a condition, okay? It's a condition because I want to remove people. I want to remove, sorry, the age or for people who are aged above 60. So drop if, okay, the variable age greater than 60. This is how you do it, okay? It's simple like this. So drop if age is greater than 60, which means for every respondent that he has age above 60 is going to be removed from our data set. And not the age only will be removed, but all the values corresponding to this person will be removed. Like for example, the ID, like the motor status, education level, and so on will be removed. Okay, if I hit enter, they will say here in, in, in a parenthesis that 60, uh, 56 observations deleted, which means I miss 56 respondent because their age is above 60. What if I summarize again to see uh, if the starter recognize that? Okay, age, uh, sorry, summarize age. What do you see? You can see now that I ha still have 444 observations, which means respondents. Okay, so uh, those 56 respondents have already left, been removed from this data set. So the minimum age group age is still 15. Okay, I didn't touch on this. So and the maximum is now 60, which means people with age uh, more than 60 have been removed from my data set, okay? So what if now you want like an exact number? Say, for example, I want to remove the people who are aged exactly 15 years old, okay? How do I do that? So I, I come and say, drop, sorry, drop if age is equal, equal. The command for this, uh, like for this equal sign, uh, like if we want to come to the condition of exact value, we should add double equal signs, okay? So we have drop if age is equal 15, okay? As simple as this, you, you hit enter, then you can see they are saying 15 respondent have been removed from our data set. So what if I do summarize and see the change? So summarize age, I see now the minimum, the youngest person is no longer 15 years old, but 16 years old, which means all the respondent whose age was 15 have been removed from my data set. So I didn't touch on maximum age. This is how you can do it. Now, what if, for example, you want to remove uh, uh, like a, a, with multiple conditions. This was one condition. Now I want to try with multiple conditions, may more than one condition, of course. So if, okay, you drop if H is greater than 40. Okay, first, be, because we want to, like, we want to bring, you can have two conditions from two va different variables, or you can have two conditions from one variable, okay? Let's, let me start from one variable, okay? If drop if h is more than 40, is greater than 40, and this is how you do it in theta. So, and h, okay? Let's say I want to only remain with people aged, uh, aged uh, 40 to 50, okay? or 20 to 50, okay, let me say 20, 
uh, drop if h is greater than 20 and h is is less than less than 40. what does it mean i will only stay with people between 20 years old and 40 years old because i will move people aged above uh, above sorry aged below below 20 and also um i remove the people uh, greater than 40 okay i just want to stay with people aged between 20 and 40 so i was i will say drop if age is less than 20 and age is greater than 40 so i will stay with age range of 20 to 40 so now hit enter 232 observations have been deleted okay 232 observations have dated what if i summarize and see the change on age okay ha huh. you see now we only remain with 197 observations okay so the minimum age is 20 and the maximum is 40 this is what i wanted i wanted to stay with respondent aged between 20 and 40 okay so you can do it on different uh, like variables not only one variable you can say drop if age is equal to something and let's say for example gender is equal to one or two depending on the coding you gave to the other variable okay so this is how you can do it right so now uh, let's let's take another technique for data cleaning okay we let's browse first you can see that from uh, like from our our data set here so we have uh, different colors for different variables okay like the id is in any in black color like age as well as the weight because those are numeric variables but lung cancer gender drinking alcohol and so on what are they they are they are coded variables they are not if they were like totally string variable, I could have another color similar like red color, but here the blue color is it means the variable is is coded. Let's say for example, if I try to tabulate um, lung cancer, okay, you can see uh, what I'm talking about. You, we have yes or no, which means uh, for example, I have nine eight, eight nine. Uh, people respondent who say they 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 have lung cancer and those 108 108 respondent who say they don't have lung cancer okay so i want like uh, to take this variable for example and uh, like uh, change transform transform its uh, its data type okay if i come back to the data set you can see the lung cancer here if i hit no okay it is one if i hit yes it is zero you can see there it is already there so let me say for example um if you want like to transform variable from string to numeric you use command which is the string okay if you want to change the variable from numeric to string you use the command which is to string okay let's say i ha i have this age and i want to change it change it to string into string variable okay i use to string okay to string age okay generate you want the, the variable for example i want to generate a new a new variable which is age a age string so to string means the variable that was not a string variable was say for example a numeric variable i want to change it into a string variable and generate a different variable which contains of course it's a target variable which will be a string variable okay so because i don't want to disturb this age variable i want to have it as numeric but generate a another variable which is age string as a string variable okay then you hit enter then you browse okay you can see here i have age string which means this um this age string 
variable, it is a string variable whose values are similar to the age, but they are totally different. If I try like to, to summarize this age string, which is here, okay, what will they say? You see, the stator does not treat this age string as a numeric variable. That's why it does not give me like the um, the descriptive statistics. It should give me like the mean, the standard deviation, the maximum and the minimum. Sometimes during your data analysis, you can face this problem. Okay. If you face this problem, it means you are working on wrong data type. So say you are requesting for descriptive analysis, but from a string variable. Okay. So you don't need to to proceed before you the string or you to string your variable depending on data, data type. Let me bring back this age string into a numeric variable. What can I do now? I use the string command, which means this age, age string, okay, this age string variable, as you have seen, it was a string variable okay now i want to destring it which means i want to transform it from like string to numeric then i generate a new variable which is uh say for example age age new okay so what will be this age new this age new variable will be a numeric variable because i destring this age string okay you hit you hit enter then you summarize this age new variable here okay can you see that so now they can give me descriptive statistics because this age new variable is a numeric variable if you browse and see in your data data set you can see this age new is not different from the age because both of them they are they are numeric variables this is how you can do it. Sometimes we face these problems dealing with data cleaning, data analysis in this data. So you have to make sure you are working on good, uh, on appropriate data type. Okay. If I want now, let's proceed with data cleaning. If I want to drop like this age new or age string, I use only drop any variable name. Okay. Enter. I no longer have age string there. If you want to drop like, um, age new you can also drop it like this simple as that okay that's how you can like to string or destring a given variable so now let's speak about another thing another concept which is very important in a data cleaning which is dealing with outriers how do we deal with outriers what are outriers outriers they are those values that are scattered from other values. Let me give you an example. You may be conducting a study targeting people who are aged between 15 to 50, okay? 15 to 50. But during data cleaning, you identify someone who is aged uh, 80, okay? So that one is an outlier to your data set, to your target population because it is a value that you did not expect, a value which is far away from your observations, okay? So you may have multiple observations that behave the same way. You can have different, depending on the distribution of your variables, I mean your values, you can have different observations that is cut away from the other observations. Those observations, we call them outliers. For example, in a company that you may be heading, okay, you can identify some two or three staffs, employees, who get a salary which is definitely different from others, okay? So that one, we like treat it as an outlier. Sometimes we can drop an outlier and sometimes we can keep an outlier depending on the meaning we want to give um, to it during our data analysis, okay? There are people who will tell you, okay, it's okay, if you meet outriers, please remove them because they can affect your data analysis. Yes, like measures of central tendency can be uh, affected by the outlier, like the mean. That's why when we are doing data analysis, we 
do not like rely on mean 100%. We can use median and other uh, percentiles and quartile ranges for proper interpretation, okay? But outlier may not be like a good observation uh, to keep in your data set sometimes, okay? It depends. So now, uh, how do we identify outliers in our, uh, in our data set? So outliers, okay, um, let's say for example, there's one technique which is the most easiest and very common technique you can use to identify outliers. And this is nothing but scatter plot, okay? Scatter plot is a plot which is used uh, like to visualize the like the relationship between two numeric variables two numeric variables i repeat numeric variables you cannot use a scatter plot for categorical or string variables let me say that okay so you have to use scatter plot for only two numeric variables how many numeric variables do we have here i have for example the age and i have the weight okay let me use scatter h space weight okay and i hit enter i wait for the scatter plot oops this scatter does not give information actually in the scatter plot we can have for example um a scatter which is which shows positive relationship or negative relationship or no linear relationship but for this case now we can say there's no linear relationship okay so now uh this is hard now. You cannot know which observation are far away from the others because if you look at the weight, people who are, are like weighting 100, okay, 100 kgs, kilograms, we can have them, okay, uh, having 40 years old, but also we can have 40 years old among people who are weighting 20 kilograms, okay? So you may not have like exact example on this because we are doing on a uh, like data set that we have, uh, randomly generated okay but you can have like people who have weight who are waiting like more than 80 but very few very few uh, like observations though, which are far away which are scattered which are different from the other observations okay this we call them the outliers okay so um you can also like uh, use different techniques like you can summarize summarize for example uh, this weight okay summarize and uh, use a d what what does this means to this case i'm just uh calling for percentiles the percentiles themselves can also explain the distribution of observations in my data set on my variable a given variable for example here they are saying 100 percent i mean 99 percent okay of uh, my observations i may have like 100 uh, observations okay so and here we have the largest the largest weight of course is 100 and the smallest is one okay so we can have uh, like the mean we can have, we have the skewness we can have the kurtosis and we can have also the variance okay so the percentile can explain you how your uh, observations are distributed okay in your data set I mean for a given uh, variable okay so back to our um, data set if we also have another uh, you can have different techniques you can use like a scatter plot as we have seen we can use a uh, box plot as well it can show you the percentiles and therefore you can notify which uh, values are scattered away from the others so but also um, uh, uh, you can use uh, like uh, kurtosis and skewness that I will be talking in next videos to know uh, how your data are, distri are normally distributed. No more like in you know, multi test. We we will use we will have different videos on tests. So um, what I want you also to know here and during data cleaning, you it may not be easy for you to like place a given variable at a given um, like at a given a place for example yeah uh, you can see that our last variable is smoking what if for example i want to make lung cancer to be the last variable sometimes you can need this during your data cleaning okay you use uh, the command which is order order lung cancer last 
this is this will place the lung cancer your rust variable if you want to bring it fast you use fast as your as your uh, new uh, place of a variable okay you can also place it between let's say for example i want to bring uh, the uh, let's say the age the gender bef bef uh, between motor status and education level okay yeah you can use other gender okay okay before before what before education level because i want to place gender before education level between motor status and education level okay education education level then what do you do you hit enter so you as you can see gender is right uh, in the place between motor status and education level so um this is like um a um, few techniques that you can need during your data cleaning so but we have already started this when we were generating new variables coding and coding and so on as we have explained it on previous videos please please you can go and watch them so all those techniques can also be applied here in data uh, cleaning so this is uh, like one way of assuring that your your data set is uh, like clean so for example uh, how can you detect like a uh, missing vari variables missing values of course i maybe i didn't show that to you let me clear this i can clear this this data set and bring it back okay so i have it back so how can you detect like different missing uh, values at the age age variable okay you can for example um you can say tabulate you can either tabulate or wrist tabulate age m missing okay here they will say dots okay we have seven seven observations that are missing that we like seven respondent who did not give who did not provide their ages okay how can i drop them you can say drop if age is equal dot so this will drop your uh, missing but before i drop i want to list them okay i want to list them list okay if age is equal okay list if age is equal to this dot okay so we can have we can now identify who did not respond age who did not provide his age or her age so we have the fourth observation 18th we have 24th we have 147th and so on those are like the respondent who did not provide their age if we want to visualize or to prove this you can go back to the data set and see the age the fourth person did not respond the 18th person did not respond 24th person did not respond and so on that is how you can see your uh, your the, the missing values the missing values in git in this uh, age now let us drop them drop if age is equal equal to dot okay or you can replace replace this value if age is equal to this okay now you can see they are saying seven observations have been graded now we no longer have we no longer have a uh, missing values in age variable if you want to prove that you can say tab okay tab h m missing you see we don't have missing we used to have missing at the end of our tab table here but you can see we have no missing uh, values so this is how you can do with uh, <clears throat> missing values uh, we i will show you next how to replace them with different values of your interest the values you want you may say for example i want to replace missing values by five or by the mean or by the median or by whatever so i will show that in next video please stay here at this youtube channel you will learn more about these softwares and programming languages like R, like python you also need to uh, learn more about uh, like um spss like uh, excel and other programs that may be helpful in uh, data analysis so thank you for staying at 
with me throughout this video hope you or have already subscribed to this youtube channel to stay here forever for more videos and also you can feel free to share this content to others that you think they may be interested in those um skills so i hope to see you on next videos thank you